heading home. Aren't these guys just adorable? They've been hard at work educating people about their species. And now it's time for these bamboo sharks to retire, even though they're only one year old. We've had our little baby sharks with us ever since they were born. We reared them out of eggs and we've taken them around to education centres, schools, daycare centres to educate the people all about them. But unfortunately, they've grown out of their tanks at our place and we have to take them back to the wild and release them. There we go, great teamwork, Richard. Perfect, well done, Pip. Now, these guys here, the females, they lay anywhere between 40 and 60 eggs in a breeding season over summer. That's a lot. That is a lot. They need a lot because a lot of them actually don't make it. They get preyed upon by all sorts of different animals. So even when they're eggs and from when they're like little tiny hatchlings? Absolutely. Lots of different animals out there wanting to eat them. So they have a bigger number so that uh, at least some of them will survive to become adults. Oh, I guess these guys are super lucky then. It's like they've had a kickstart to life. A uh, very good boost to life. Now, they're big enough and strong enough that they can be out there foraging around looking for food and there'd be less animals that are able to eat them at that size. Alrighty. Well, look, I am loving the day at the beach. I appreciate you bringing us here today. But why have you chosen this spot to release the sharks? OK. It's a perfect spot. Just looking at their bodies and their colours uh, with the camouflage that they've got, we've got sandy, rocky areas out here at the beach and uh, perfect for hiding and also hunting and looking for food until such time as they're big enough and strong enough to swim out further. And uh, let's just make a little bit of a clarification. That food does not include people, does it? No, absolutely <laughs> not people. And uh, the more we learn about sharks and the fact that we should be looking after them and not killing them and protecting them, the better off we'll all be. All right, well, let's leave it to three. these three little guys. We just take them into the water and... We're going to take them out them here go. and they're going back to the wild. Awesome. kind of hung around us, they didn't just dart away. Yeah, they did. It's a bit unusual, mate. I think that because they were really happy with the environment they'd been released into, they weren't frightened, didn't take off, so it was really good. But they did head off in different directions, so don't break my heart, but tell me, are they going to remain friends? Sorry to do it to you, but I doubt it. I think they'll uh, go off and lead their own lives. They're uh, solitary animals, so yeah, don't think that's gonna happen. All right, well tell me, what are they doing now? What's next to them? All right, for them, they'll be out there now, looking for a little spot in amongst the coffee rock, in a ledge or somewhere just to have a snooze. As it gets dark, because they're nocturnal animals, they might wake up and start looking for food, crabs, right. shellfish and prawns. And life begins, and they're gonna start growing soon. What's the full size um, of a bamboo shark? All right, they're gonna grow up to anywhere between 1.2 and 1.5 metres long, so you've got a bit of growing yet to do. How long will that take? Oh, probably another, say, three or four years fully grown. All right, well, you've done your bit. That must be very rewarding. It's an excellent thing. Look, we've had the, the pleasure of having them and educating the kids about them, um, telling them all about why they look and why they are the way they are, the fact that they're not dangerous and, and horrible animals, and now we get to release them back to the wild, which is really awesome. And now we can just sit back, cross our fingers that they make it. Absolutely.